bring our guests in. Farrah's coming in, everybody. Who is Farrah? Farrah Franklin. That's a name that belongs in lights. That's actually a very gorgeous name, Farrah Frank Franklin. The, I love the F and the F. Mm -hmm. It rolls off your lips. It really does belong in lights. Alas, nothing's been popping off since um, Destiny's Child. However, she's not in here for nothing, so we're going to find out all about Farrah Franklin. She was one of the original four members of Destiny's Child before Beyonce um, decided that um, Farrah was oh too cute for the group. Look at Farrah. Hello. I'm loving your boots. Thank you. I'm loving your belt. I'm loving your handbag. Oh, sorry about that. No problem. I'm loving your handbag. It's for you. I'm loving your t-shirt. Yeah. I am loving your hair. Thank you. And those are contacts. No, these are mine. You did hers. You did mine. I think it's... I know that you have light eyes, but those aren't contacts to zhuzh it up a bit? No, these are mine. Well, I can see why she got kicked out of the group. <laughs> Too beautiful. Thank you. I see what's going on. Have a seat, Farrah. Thank you. Look at that. The real deal. I'm, I'm seeing exactly what happened. How many years has it been? Um... Wow, I left in 2001. Why did they choose to even have you in the group? I mean, they, I mean, it, you know... Look at her teeth. She's wonderful. Yeah, Thank you are. You. Thank you very much. It, it means a lot. <laughs> very natural. How old are you? Uh, showbiz age. No, my real age, I just turned 24 May 3rd. Oh, I see what's going on. May 3rd. I have my ID and everything. You do? <laughs> yeah. I like how you push up your boobs. That That's a good push-up bra that you're in. What kind you. of bra is that? Vicky Secrets. <laughs> what is that, the eye packs? Um, you know what? I don't remember. Because what do you have, an A cup? But you've no, made the... Okay, but you made the illusion of a, a solid C. C. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that? I mean, when she takes it off, it's like, I'm going to get you sucker. Everything, you know. You know, everything's an illusion. But the, uh, the, the eyes stay real. Thank you. That's nice. Thank you. And your hair. You yeah. have um, tracks incorporated. That's not a yeah, full weave. I have, no. This is all my hair out, and then I have two tracks in the back. I just got finished doing a movie, so, you know, like, for the extra. Yeah. For, for the, the extra, movie. how much of the, if that is, is weaved? Extra uh, six inches, well. Uh, no, actually, I'm like. <laughs> she, she, it's hard to separate when you've got your own natural hair. Yeah. This is mine. All right. I see what's going on. So your hair. you, you this is the. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, Beyonce, I'm not taking anything away from you, but I clearly see where you, your mom, you know, you all felt a way about the lovely Farah being in the group. I, I'm sorry, I, I thought we'd be bashing you in, in here and, and playing all kinds of sound effects under you. <laughs> but look at you. Oh, thank you. So now you were involved with one of the Jagged Edges. Um, I was friends with Jagged Edge. Well, I'm Brandon from Jagged Edge. Yeah, Brandon. And the uh, other one was involved with... When, uh, um, with LaToya. LaToya and LaTavia. Actually, they dated the two guys. Okay. I didn't date them. I got I'm He confused. did a song for me. Yes. I used to studio, but I didn't date any of them. That who, was the other two young ladies. Who do you date in the industry? Or, or what, do you, what all... I don't recall much... Um, listeners, help remind me of Farrah and her <laughs> dossier at 866 <laughs> Wendy Facts. Quickly before she leaves. <laughs> um, so are you in love now? No, I'm in love with my career. I'm dedicated to my music, and I mean, I left the group, so until I do something, you'll like show that, them. You'll show them. You'll show them. I, I understand. I have a lot of fans who, you know, who kept me, you know, motivated and just believe in me and stuff, and I believe in myself, of course. But I mean, I didn't leave the group not to do anything. I could have stayed in the group. It was about money or fame. Obviously, I would have stayed in the group. I was not kicked out. You weren't. No. Well, th take us through the last um, the last couple of hours before, and who who what, did they call you over to the compound and <laughs> sit you down in the living room, or did you sit in the kitchen around the island, no. and you guys are all eating food, and then you know Matthew Knowles walks in, and Beyonce stands up and excuses herself, and they let you have it. How did it go down? Um, no, it wasn't just one thing really. It was like. Uh, I was really in the group longer than five months. They said I was in the group for five months, mm. but really I was in the group for about a year and some change. Mm. And there was a, I mean, I've just always been a leader and an individual. I've never been a follower. I've never been a happy to be here type of person because I work so hard to, for where I am. Yeah, don't cry. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> um, and it was just a lot. Like, I was, I wanted to be happy. And this is like everything I've ever dreamed for. And yes. I wasn't happy. Yes. Everything. Why? This, were the sisters ganging up on you? The, um, um, it, Beyonce it and... It was a little... Well, because you have someone's whole oh, family. The sisters. <laughs> <laughs> you have the whole family on the road with you. It's kind of hard because you have a mother who is a hairstylist 
and also the clothing stylist. Right. You have a father who's the manager. Mm. You have our other, her other cousin, I'm sorry, I got, I'm saying my cousin now. You have her other cousin who was our attorney. You also have her other cousin who was our road manager. And you have her other cousin who was our road manager's assistant. And you have her sister, Solange, who was a background dancer. Right, 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 right. Therefore, we have four days off a month, the whole month, and not even in a consistent row. Yeah, yeah. I got what you're saying. So now, um, and I, the last time I saw you, you were on the cover of the book, Pimps Up, Hose Down. Oh, no. <laughs> that was like a desperate move right there No, not her. Pimps Up, Hose Down. It's it was one of those kind of the books. The Art of Macking. All right, same difference. And I did it when I was 15. Uh, what? Yeah. Well, what are, where are your parents? I actually have been on my own since I was 15. What? Ooh. Yeah. What is up with your mother? That's a great question. What? I just have to pray for my mom. I'm a daddy's girl. So, but I mean, I take care of my family, so. Did you spend Mother's Day with your mother? No, I wish I was here. Did you call your mom? I know. Did didn't. you send her a 10 cent card? No, I didn't. Okay, what's the deal? No, we just You know what? Hold that thought, because what do I have, a minute left on the break? One minute, yeah. 30 seconds, man. Farah, you are stunning, and I'm finding you delightful to speak with. Thank you. And I would kick you out of my group as well. <laughs> Because I don't need this kind of competition. <laughs> and I would... Is mommy, Daddy, do you agree? Mm. Sister, do you agree? Okay, she's out. Mm. I just need people to blend in the background like Michelle Williams. I don't need all this that you're serving us right now. This is <laughs> too much. <laughs> Arthur. It's too much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Interns. It's too much. It's too much. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Hollywood? Too much. Yeah. <laughs> too much. Too much. <laughs> Everybody keep it here. We're going to find out what's up with her mother. And, and why is the father so great? And more about her career next. Bring Sarah Franklin back in here. I don't want to lose a moment of time with her. I, I'm finding it. A delightful <clears throat> having conversation with her, and I mean that. And um, also, do you realize how many careers have come and gone or come and, and risen since Farrah was first on the mat with Destiny's Child? Friend to the show, A. Marie. Do you realize that, that, that look for look, she's as cute as any one of the girls out here today? I, gotta, I say all that to say, this, this business sucks. <laughs> you know, because you can be cute and talented and so on and so forth. I was just telling everybody, you know, lots of girls have come out since since we first knew about you from Destiny's Child. Namely, friend to the show, A. Marie. Mm -hmm. As well as other girls. Who else? I can't even think off the top of my head. A. Marie um, is top of mind. Sierra. She's Sierra. Sierra. Hello. Where have you been? I've been... You're as cute as the rest. You don't need that studio workup to be cute. Thank you. It must be that you can't sing naturally. Turn everything out and oh. sing. You know Wishing on a Star? I Wishing on a Star. All right. I actually brought one of my songs with me. No, 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 no. We want to hear something where we can re really be critical of you. An old Destiny Child's record. Yes. Um, and not see. Bills, Bills, Bills. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Girlfriend. Okay, I know a little okay. something. Okay, go ahead. Um... <clears throat> You don't know the pain that I feel. What song is this? You're taking my love for granted and you just want to see it your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about that time. Houston. I'm going to tell you what's on my mind. I'm fed up with you not being Houston, we need the zhuzh up equipment. When you know love is all I need. Okay, but you want to know what? That's still workable. <laughs> That's still workable. It's it's not the best voice. But it's me. <laughs> but, but it's you. And I'll tell you what you have. You have... <laughs> Art is saying you're stunning looking. <clears throat> but you know what? You have the look. You have the age, and you have just enough to have that equipment in the studio zhuzh it up and make your voice a 10. The tunator. The, the tunator. Good. She sounded good to you? Yeah. Thank you. Tone deaf and blind. <laughs> <laughs> I see what he is. 
Oh. It, it, listen, it's not the best voice. Well, I mean, you know, it's just something for now that I'm doing now. If I would have rehearsed, no, like no, else no. Or if you have the tunator like everybody else uses, oh, let's, yeah. let's call okay. it what it is. Uh, Pro right? Tools. There you, you see, she knows what it is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're a pro with the tools. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> so let's talk about <laughs> Tina Knowles mm-hmm. because I I heard. No, don't do that because Beyonce is going to be a knockout when she gets older based on Tina Knowles. Go where art back there. Sorry. You keep yeah, that's right. You don't talk about Tina Knowles. Because what she did to Farah is totally separate from the look that she possesses. Gorgeous woman. Thank you. However, I understand that she wanted you to um she was trying to downplay your naturally stunning looks. While you were in the group, did she have you dye your hair or she wanted you to dye it something other than the stunning black that it is? Yeah, my hair was red when I was in the group, actually. Yeah. And I was Clown never... red like old Kelly red? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, my see. Hair was red. Yeah. My hair was red. I look a lot different than when I was in the group. Okay, I'm sure I do because I don't even recognize you. Yeah. I know is, your name, but I don't know you. This is how I would have looked naturally, like... But this is the group. That's how they wanted me to look. What else group. would they do to ugly, ugly you up? <laughs> well, um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, but I mean, I did have to tan a lot. When I tan a lot because they wanted Beyonce to be the lightest one. Uh, I mean, mm. Michelle, I, and Kelly tanned sometimes. <laughs> so, wow. Mm. wow. And Beyonce wouldn't tan? Wow. Not unless we were at a beach. Wow. <laughs> And then that sunscreen would be 45. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Girls, are you stunned? Yes. I didn't pay attention to you when you were in the group. It was always all about Beyonce. I, I felt for exactly what they wanted me to do. Girls, do you remember <coughs> her look when she was in the group? Yeah, she was my favorite one out of the uh-huh. new girl. She was, yeah. Zoe? Yeah. Thank Aww, you very much. That's Zoe. She's, she's a virgin. Favorite, she's my favorite one, too. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> Are you a virgin? No. I'm Clearly not. not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I saw I saw your walk away. No. Um, she chiefs up. <laughs> do you know the chief? Uh, do I know the what? The chief. Uh-uh. What's that? Okay. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Were you required to um, gain any weight, wear any particular clothes, do any? I was required to lose weight. Oh. oh. Because they wanted Beyonce to be the full body one. See, we can turn this any way you wanted to at the show. If they said that she had to gain weight, then it would be like, oh, they wanted Beyonce to be the skinniest. They told you to gain, they told you to lose weight, not because you're fat. No, but my butt used to be way bigger than what it oh. is now. Oh, <laughs> excuse me, Art. <laughs> okay, so let's review your projects. Uh, you've you've been such a good sport. Please, Thank you know, you. if if you ever get huge or or bigger or or whatever. Don't be a snob. Come back to the show because we support you Thank from you. our I heart. Will definitely be back. <laughs> there have been no crazy buttons going off while you're talking or anything. No, and I truly, sincerely appreciate that. Now, go over your projects. My projects, okay. I've just finished filming my second movie. Okay. Um, Eyes of Darkness is a film movie. It's a horror film. I just finished in DVD. Uh, actually, this is possibly a feature film, and it might go to DVD at the least. It's going to DVD, but I just finished filming this, so it's still up. Who else works. is in it? Um, I'm actually the, pretty much a star. I'm another rapper named Jail Felony. He's oh, I know him. Okay, oh, rapper. He's, yeah. Exactly. He's my co-star. In the okay. Movie. And um, I just finished doing another movie called The Brewster Project oh. it's with uh, Regina Bell and Mr. Cheeks okay. and Mike Shorey. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, d- did you ever ever date Fabulous? No, never. Oh, you were real quick on that yeah, one. Yeah, he's not my type. That's my that's business, you know? Like, yeah. Everyone, because right. everyone thinks yeah. because you're two people, you're two attractive people, that yeah. it's not possible for you guys yeah. to be around each other. But... I know a lot of attractive people. When's your full-blown so. CD coming out? Your CD, you know, collabos, your Farrah Franklin Presents. Um, well, I definitely <clears throat> should have something out by June and July, at least a song for people to hear. Okay. I don't want to rush and do an album. I want it to have a great album. I want to have longevity. Yeah. And not just do a club banger for the moment. Not only that, about but me. you've got a lot to prove. Thank you. You do. I have a lot to say. <laughs> and a lot to say. And but my website, I'm sorry. Can go I? ahead, do it. Thank you. Say uh, it. My website is missfarah.com. Hit it. Um. M-I-S-S-F-A-R-R-A-H.com. It's only been up a month, but I have 18,000 hits. Wow. In one month. And I do everything myself. As of now, I manage myself. 
I don't have any what? agents, any... Uh, Who came up here with you? Who's your entourage? Um, well, actually, this is the owner of my old label, Fabulous's old label, who someone contacted them to contact me. But I do everything on my own. I have been doing everything on my own since I left the group. Uh -huh. Everything in marketing as far as, like, the modeling, the print ads uh -huh. that I've done, every magazine that I've been in, the wow. cover of Smooth Girl. Keep hustling. Everything I've done Keep myself. hustling. Good will come to you, Farrah. I mean, you know, you, you didn't bash anybody coming up here. Uh -huh. um, you were a good sport. You are um, a beautiful woman. Um, it, you know, you, the Tonator will fix everything else. <laughs> you, you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. No um, and 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 you, you see, she's a nice girl, right? Very nice girl. Farrah Franklin, clap Appreciate for this you. woman. Yes. Thank you. The Wendy Williams wow. Experience. Wow. <laughs> as soon as we said bye, Adimu rang up the phone talking about, let me speak to Farrah. And she's over there all squealing wow. in the corner. <clears throat> wow. wow. Adimu, get off the phone. <laughs> we clearly know that you have what it takes to get that. Or revisit it or whatever. Adimu's on here at WBLS, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. What's that, your ex-boyfriend, ex-something? Nah, you know, it's L.A., I'm from the West Coast. Yeah, but Adimu, I could see you all as a couple. All of a sudden, I'm judging it up in my mind because, you know, he rang up the phone and you started getting squarely over there. No, this is good to hear somebody from L.A. show me love. Yeah, you know, from I understand. From the West Coast, it's hard being an artist right now. Yeah. So I appreciate it all. I'll just pour it. So what I forgot to ask you, everybody nationally is going to be mad because they're going to miss this, but they'll get this during the rest of I forgot to ask, what what's up with you and your mother? Mother? Um, well, unfortunately, we um, <laughs> kind of don't have a, the best relationship because she kind of wanted to do what I'm doing. Okay. So she kind of resents me for it in a way. So it's kind of hard, but my dad... <laughs> so she gave birth to you, and how long were you with her before she decided to... Um... Um, well, I lived in like seven different cities growing up and I was went to 12 different schools and I'm not a military brat. Wow. <laughs> and so this is your mother and father dragging you around no, or just your mother? just my mother. No. I don't know my biological father, but my father that I call my father is actually my brother. It's my younger brother's dad who's been there since I was born. How many kids are in the family? Uh, it's four of us and we all have different dads. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So your mother is how old now? About? Mom's young. She's 43. Yeah. And is she still trying to do it? Is she 43, no. three, the new 33? And Well, yeah, she wants to be young. She wants to be more of my sister, yeah. unfortunately, than a mother, which is what really what I need. Wow. So at what point did you say, forget you, and I'm going to take charge of my own life? Um, when she kicked me out when I was 15. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. What did you do? Stay out too late? She got you. She caught you with fast boys or something? No, no, no. This is the funny thing that she tells me how great of a child I was growing up. Um, I have a sister. Her name is Carrie. This is my 11 year old sister. Okay. And she's basically like my daughter. Okay. And ever since she was born, I've been taking care of her and raising her. I actually missed a whole year of school to help her out. Uh -oh. And I ended up graduating from homeschool because I was in honors class. It was very smart. So yes. I was able to skip two years within the one year that I missed and graduate at 16 but so this is why I strive so hard as well it's for my 11 year old sister for to see this is not how you have to be like mommy unfortunately oh my gosh you know it's mom so it's like my sister if she doesn't have a role model she's gonna think this is how you know life is supposed to be and this is how you're supposed to be but so do you how much contact do you have with your mom Farrah Franklin everybody I'm interested <laughs> Well, um, I actually moved back from New York. I was living here for two years, and I moved back to be closer to my sister. Mm. I live like 10 minutes away from her, but we really don't talk. I just go pick up my brothers and sisters, and I take them school shopping. I'm the go-to person. Oh. <laughs> and your mom is? She's, she wants to hang out at the party. Oh. Like, she wants to go out with me and stuff like that, but I don't want to do that. I don't even go out. Yes. So, you know, I definitely don't want my mom running at the club with me. And it's just, I have so much stuff to do with my life that I don't want my mother being another, you know, yes. aspect of that either. Oh, so. wow. All right, young lady. I just wanted to find out. I, I, I forgot about asking you about that. And fortunately, Adimu stalled you in the studio, so I had a chance <laughs> to call. Adimu, you can call back now. Thank you, Farah. Thank you. What? You're doing the right thing. I wish you luck. Thank you very wow. much. Wow. It's easier to be bad than be good. <laughs> Sarah, you ain't said nothing but a word. <laughs>
<laughs> it's Farrah Franklin, everybody. All right, we're going to uh, continue through this break. We'll be back with um, uh, the 5 o'clock hour next. <laughs> Who would know that Farrah Frank Franklin would spark so much interest? Nancy in Queens says, Wendy, I can't believe I missed Farrah Franklin's interview. Please tell me you'll replay it very soon. Dear Wendy, um, don't even worry. You are a true twin. Oh, oh, this is for Farrah. Dear Farrah, don't even worry, girl. You're beautiful. And I can see why Beyonce and her clan were threatened by you. You are a true 24 and don't even have to stage up, whereas Beyonce is clearly 30, perpetrating like she's 22. Do you, Farrah. You're fabulous. That's from a woman of a certain age. That's how she signed it. Thank you, Farrah Franklin, for coming on the show today. I truly um, enjoyed speaking with you. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Farrah Franklin. Bye-bye. See you later.